Julian Usner has spent the last two years visiting border cities, documenting the struggles of migrants who were turned away from the U.S. via Title 42. This is the order the Trump administration put in place at the beginning of the pandemic. It gives Customs and Border Patrol agents the power to turn away asylum seekers without a hearing. Newsner is an attorney with Human Rights First. She recently visited Tijuana and talked to some migrants about the Biden administration's plan to end the program on May 23rd. Their reaction wasn't particularly positive. So when I was, uh, when I was visiting shelters in Tijuana, the administration had just announced its intention to end the program. And I think more than anything, people had questions and doubts. <laughs> The Biden administration waited nearly a month before releasing a detailed plan of how they plan to handle the end of Title 42. That plan was released Tuesday, and it calls for increasing staff along the southern border, expanding migrant processing capacity, supporting local nonprofits, and deporting unauthorized migrants who are not requesting asylum. This lack of clear messaging has repeatedly frustrated Tijuana officials during the entire Biden administration. Enrique Lucero is the director of the city's Migrant Affairs Department. He says when Trump was in office, at least everybody knew what to expect. Por lo menos Trump sabías a qué jugabas, ¿no? Decías, no, aquí no queremos migrantes, y no llegaron migrantes, a, uh, hubo un, un descenso en, en, en los intentos de cruzar irregularmente. Pero con esta nueva administración no se sabe. Lucero says Trump wasn't shy about his anti-immigrant views, and largely followed up his messaging with actions. But that hasn't been the case with Biden. Over and over in the 2020 campaign trail, Biden promised to end Trump's harsh anti-immigration policies and restore the asylum process. So when Biden won the election, thousands of migrants came to Tijuana and waited for Trump's policies to go away. But nothing happened. Biden didn't get rid of Title 42. So all those people just stayed in Tijuana. In two messages that Joe Biden has given us, we have in situations like the one we are in. First, La llegada, la simple llegada de Biden a la presidencia fue lo que provocó el, el campamento El Chaparral, ¿no? Esa esperanza que él mismo anunció que iba a, a, a como arreglar los procesos de asilo, ¿no? Eh, y, y, el, y darle para atrás todas las políticas antimigratorias de Trump. Lucero says the mixed messaging put Tijuana in a bad spot. Now, with less than a month to go before the planned end date, another twist. A federal judge in Louisiana this week indicated his intention to block the termination of Title 42. According to the case's briefing schedule, the judge could make his final ruling the week before May 23rd. Aaron Reichlin Melnick is senior policy counsel for the American Immigration Council. He says we probably won't know anything until right before the termination date. So, realistically speaking, we will probably get a decision just before May 23rd. Uh, it could be a few days, it could be a week, but we're not going to get any major heads up. Uh, the schedule is such that we're going to not find out about this until um, really the last minute. Until then, asylum seekers in Tijuana will continue to live in their precarious state of limbo. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.